Hello, my name is M. Jason Graham, and this is writing. So today we are doing the bottom half of the Pivotal Character Worksheet, and we are discussing, of course, reputation. So I am giving you an example of what I you would fill out for a character today. Remember that I'm taking you step by step through my identity story, uh, which is what I'm calling it now because I don't have a name for it. But the main character's name is Drayvon. And so if you would recall from Tuesday, we have four categories for our, well, we have three categories, actually. We have, uh, no, it's four. Four categories for reputation. Those categories are notion, which refers to audience notion. Community, which refers to the communities in which the character, the character belongs to and has responsibilities to. And if you would recall, we talked about the fact that it generally during a what I would consider a full-length story, so a movie, if you would, or a web series, full series, there would be at least three up to six communities that a character would interact with. And then, as of course, as a part of that, you, you list the community, you list the associated foil, which is the person that the character, the other, the character that the main character or protagonist, the agonist, if you will, uh, communicates with or has scenes with during that time. You list their duties, whatever their responsibilities are, and then the performance, how well they're performing those duties. The very last thing is a description, which is to say not a description of the character or a description of the action, but a description of how the character fulfills his or her role in executing the message or the purpose of the story. Let's get started. So, remember that we have our purpose listed at the top of our page, so at the very top of our, our pivotal character worksheet. And the purpose of this story is to encourage the responsibility of self-definition. So, everything being through that lens, this is uh, Drayvon's pivotal character worksheet. So, his notion, audience notion, and his protagonist. I'm only going to do one of the communities, but he actually has six communities uh, with this story, it, this, and I'll talk a little bit more about epic storytelling, but I'm actually setting this up to be, uh, like a mini series, if you will, or a series, I guess you could say, not so much mini since there's, I'm planning 16 parts to it. So 16 episodes, if you will. Uh, so, but I'm just going to do one of the communities just to, just to give you an example. So this community is family. Okay. And the associated foil is Max. Max. You can put First and last name. I haven't decided on a last name for Max yet, so I'm just going to put Max. So Max is the um, Max Maxwell, actually. Maxwell. He is the best friend. He is the uh, naturalized citizen who is from the host country. So he is the, the contact to the host country. How. Drayvon gets the, the job, gets the opportunity. They consider themselves brothers. So for his responsibility to Max, he um, helps Max. And I don't have to put 
helps. But he helps with uh, with pa uh, paperwork. And I'm 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 sorry. There's not very much space. Uh, he helps with with paperwork as far as citizenship, like anything that Max doesn't understand or isn't sure about as far as signing documents. Uh, Max comes to uh, comes to Drayvon for stuff like that. He also comes to Drayvon uh, to get under to get an understanding of social situations at times even though he's not brand new to the country sometimes it's there's still a, a disconnect there um so social situations okay so there is that. And also keep in mind, because <laughs> the great thing about this is for every foil, you're going to do a pivotal character worksheet for them as well. So this is part of the pivotal character worksheet for Drayvon, but you also do a pivotal character worksheet for each one of the foils, because they need to be fleshed out. Remember, we're, we're, we're writing an epic story. So an epic story is about multiple characters. It's not just about one character. When you look at Star Wars, when you look at a television series, when you look at a, a web series generally, when you look at a comic book series, uh, and it's an ensemble comic book, like X-Men, you know, those are stories about multiple characters, not just one. So you have to do your diligence and create a pivotal character worksheet for each one of the foils so that you're very clear about who they are and what their role is when we get to description in the story. So uh, performance of duties. Um, He always helps Max. And you can put wherever whatever you want to, but the key thing is he's not he doesn't slack on this. Like he's always he's always there for Maxwell, period. You know what I mean? Um so that that's the case with it. Um Description. Now, this one is a little bit longer, so I'm not actually I'm actually not gonna write it, but I'm gonna talk talk through it because I, I don't have enough I don't have enough space to write it. And this is this is a case of I mean you may feel like you're writing a document, if you will, like you're writing a it should be like a paragraph. It should be it should be clear. You should be able to clearly articulate why, how, how and why this character fits into the story. In this particular case, Dravan um, is the protagonist, so therefore he is the example of why the purpose, and I restate the purpose every chance I get, the purpose to encourage the responsibility of def self-definition. So he is, he is the example, or he is the character who supports why that purpose is important and why it works. And so during the course of the story, Drayvon um, will be tested personally in the identity of, of who he is. And he'll have to deal with preconceived notions uh, on all sides, and this will force him to not only grow as a person, but to state concretely who he is in his own words. And when he does that, he will provide an example to other characters to where they will be able to do the same thing in the space of the story and everybody's life will be improved. 
So you want to write something like that. But we talk about what happens during the course of the story, but we're not talking about the actual action that is occurring in the story that, that he is, is doing. We don't know. So it's like, um, it's a goal, if you will. So you write it as a goal. A goal is an idea that, that doesn't have, um, it's not quantifiable. And then when we get to the actual story blueprint, when we're doing the outline of the story, then we'll get to the specifics of how he does that during the course of the story. So, to review, the character's reputation is about how other characters in the story view him or her. Those parts are notion, community, and description. Community is broken down into foil, duties, and performance. And at the end, with the, your description, you want to describe how the character supports the, their role in the story. In this particular case, their role in the audience notion. If, there, if this was the queen mother, and that's the antagonist, and we're going to come to her next week. If this was the queen, queen mother, then she would be the antagonist, and then we'd have to describe why she was the best character in as an example of why why the premise or why the the purpose of the story doesn't work so next week we will move to the queen mother of the company the um the country the african country that he goes to uh, she is the the antagonist in the story i'm going we're next week we're going to talk about the antagonist specifically and we will also go over uh, certain parts of her character creation sheet, uh, well, I call it character creation, her worksheet. We'll go over certain parts of her worksheet as well on um, next Thursday so you can see how that would get executed. I'm, I'm looking forward to it because there's, there's, there's things that have to be considered when you have an antagonist. It's, it's, but we'll get that to that later. This has been... This is writing with M. Jason Graham. This is writing is brought to you by MJGStoryCreation.com. Go to MJGStoryCreation.com for your free story consultation. Get started on turning your idea into an epic story today. I'll see you next time.